Oh. Oh. Yeah. I love to see that. Let's go. Also, this big, baldy Voldemort that plays for Birmingham. <laughs> he looks like an egg. <laughs> I didn't notice, actually. Neymar just, like, sticking his fingers down, down his throat, like... Visit IGVault.com, the safest place to get your foot 22 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure to use the code Brooksy for 6% off, you cheeky boy. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Let's get in and start the Winter Wildcard tier list. Let's go. Leave a like if you enjoy. Actually, this is something I didn't even see. This is like wildcard swaps. Uh, it's just basically more icon swaps, but not at the same point. If you need to scan the QR code, if you don't have access to FIFA, it's on the screen right now. First on the list is Niakate from Mind. Some of these cards, by the way, have upgraded skill moves and are throwbacks to other cards. Uh, we'll get onto them in a minute. Two-star skills, three-star weaver. That's fine. Medium height, six foot three. Really, really good defender absolutely rapid and he's french you've got so many links with this guy he's got long throwing solid player leadership i don't know what those last two do doesn't matter gone into the decent category next up is embarba looks pretty good for a spanish left winger for espanol not that many good links very very well-rounded card actually i'm noticing i've seen a lot of these uh, like card stats already a lot of these are really good upgrades Embarba looks class in this game. Jesus Christ, four star, four star as well. He's gonna feel nice. Nice. Now, see, this is why putting Niakate and Embarba on the same. Because I reckon if you use Embarba, you're gonna feel really nice too. And you're gonna feel really nice when you use the Kate. But like I said, we might move these around in a minute. We have to get through the rest of them first. Now, this is a guy I was hoping would have upgraded skill moves. He doesn't. This is a callback to his FIFA 17, FIFA 16, when he just got a move to the Bundesliga. Or he was still playing for Basel. One of the two, I can never actually remember. Four star weak foot, three star skills. They could have done something with him. Actually, looking at his card now, 78 agility, 82 balance, not that great. 90, 82 finishing is actually not that good either. He can't skill. He's not going to feel clean on the ball, which for a lot of people is an issue. So he's going into the it's okay, I guess, category. Now, this one's pretty cool. Junior Messias. I'm fairly sure this is an objective card. He's got five star skill moves, Brazilian in the Serie A. He looks like he's got a mad thing card, 87 agility, 85 balance. You can tell that that's literally the first thing I look at every time I look at a card. And I'm sure if you watch Milan play in the Champions League, you would have heard every single commentator say that he played in the fourth tier of Italian football four years ago. It's like, we've heard it the first time. We don't need to hear it the 69th time. Nice. But considering he's a free card and he's got five star skills, He's going in decent. Now, I love this. Fabinho as a center forward. Why? We don't know. But he's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot, 90 dribbling, 89 agility, 88 balance. They've taken away his defending, but if you gave him like 80-odd defending like you would usually have, you're going to have the best card in the game. You could play him anywhere across, literally anywhere, and he'd be fantastic. Uh, great pace. This is a banger of a card. It's gone into the fun category. I don't think he's got tier. I think he's fun. But once again, you guys let me know what he's like. Ah, my boy, a Delta Rat. Let's go. Five-star skills. Absolute. When you see his card, you see 94 dribbling. You're like, oh, Christ. Now, we have to have a look at his actual in-game stats. Here we go. 90 agility, 87 balance. Okay. Good strength, good stamina. Great stamina, actually. Good defending as well. Shooting's fantastic for center mid. Uh, passing's good too. Decent pace. Yo, you know what? This is a decent card. Funnily enough, we've literally got a category called decent, so that's where he goes. And next up is Frank Achimapong. I, I, do you know what I was saying in the last tier list about show some love to some other leagues that aren't, you know, the BPL or the Spanish league. They finally got out a Chinese card. The last one was a Portuguese league card. I love to see it. Four star skills, three star weak foot, absolutely repeat. Rapid. 98 agility, 97 balance, absolutely rapid. Finishing out the Wazoo. This card looks phenomenal. The only bad thing about him is that he's Ghanaian and he plays in the Champions League. Not the Champions League. He wishes he played in the Champions League. And because of that, it's going to be hard to link him in. But if he was playing in the Premier League, that is a world-class winger. In FIFA, obviously. In real life, he's not. Now, Nelson Semedo. Obviously, this must be for when Nelson Semedo was absolutely broken for Barcelona. Um, Four-star skills. Pretty good card. It comes out as a right wing back, so that's pretty cool. Great defending. Great physical as well. Could be a little bit stronger, but never mind. He links to a lot of good people too. For a fullback, I, because he's a fullback, I'm going to put him into the fun category, actually. Axel Twanzebe is up next. Aston Villa man uh, playing in the Premier League, which is just class to see because now we have an English 85 pace centre back. Medium high, six foot one, three star, three star. That's totally cool. Great agility and balance, man. I love what they've done with the dribbling on these cards. It's brilliant. And because he's Premier League, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to put him into the fun category. I'm going to put him into the decent category. Now, Pau Torres looks on his base card because if not give, if just give him 80 pace. What is the difference? Fantastic defending stats. Fantastic physical stats. Can dribble a little bit. Good passer of the ball as well. 
Just wish he was a little bit faster. But he's 86. Is he better than Niakate? No. Is he better than Twan Zebe? I don't think so. We're going to put him in it. It's okay, I guess. Now, Leonardo Spinazzola. If you watch the Euros, you watch this man play. Absolutely rapid left wing back now. He's got a card. He's been injured for most of the season because he got injured in the Euros, actually. 96 pace, five star skill moves. I love to see that. Four star weak foot. This man is going to go for an absolute fortune. He's not super strong, but he is also six foot one. You got to remember that as well. So he will feel stronger than he actually is and purely because of the five star skills and because he's going to feel amazing in this game he's going in fun next up we got the birmingham voldemort in uh, jordan graham although voldemort doesn't have eyebrows jordan graham does never mind pretty sure this man can declare for ireland if i'm not mistaken with a card like this yes please it scares me that people actually think like that as well if you wonder those, just stop. But yo, five star weak foot, four star skills. This is absolutely for the Dini and the Chong link up. 94 agility, 8, 90 balance as well. Rapid, good at shooting, good at passing. What a cheap option. He's going to feel amazing. He's definitely going in the decent category. Absolutely. And next is SMS. If you guys play football manager, you'll know how good this man's been in the last three years of the game. He's so good. And now he's got five star weak foot, four star skills. I cannot wait to try this card out. Look at his dribbling stats, man. 90 on everything and 91 composure just to ruin it, EA. Screw you. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to make a video on him. Let's put it that way. He's going to be that good, man. Oh, my Christ. Now, this is totally a biased one. I'm putting him in God tier because if you use this, man, I'm not going to put him in God tier. Actually, he's fun purely for the fact that his links are going to be awful. Not that many good uh, Lazio players and not many good Serbia players unless you want to use Dusan Tadic. And if you do, you're crazy. Paul Pogba, though, on the other hand, has great links and he's got a great nation so uh instant god tier if you ask me he's got a hullet gang card five star skills four star weak foot jesus h christ what have we done to deserve this um i don't know he's got every green sat stat under the sun his pace is a bit skewed which i don't really like just an amazing card and that's why he's our first god tier player wilfred zaha i think is an sbc card skill moves are great weak foot is great now i have used zaha on this game and i do not really like him i think he's very clunky on this game but He's always very weak, let's put it that way. And I always kind of likened him to Ronaldo a little bit, just on how, on how he's built in game and stuff. This card might fix the issues of his strength, in my opinion. 90 acceleration, or agility, 87 balance, rapid on the ball, can finish, can pass, can dribble. And his SBC is coming in at 167k on PlayStation, and that's pretty decent, if you ask me. So for an SBC that's actually going to feel really nice on this game, I'm going to put him in fun. Now we come to the last two cards. We've got Kingsley Coleman, who has shifted his foot over to the left-hand side. Has Zaha done that? No, he hasn't. Okay. Now Kingsley Coleman is apparently left foot, so uh, don't question it. Four-star, four-star. You love to see it, and he's playing striker as well. Rapid. I love Kingsley Coleman on this game. Uh, I genuinely do. If I manage to pack this guy, that'll be fantastic. Uh, agility and balance is good. Sprint speed and acceleration, fantastic. He's fantastic. God tier. Without even questioning it. And then we got the man that's trying to eat his hands. Neymar. Uh, has he still got five star, five star? Yes, he does. He's still right foot as well. Thank God. 98 agility, 90 balance. Ugh. Now he's a striker as well. We're all screwed. Mbappe and Neymar up top. Oh, Jesus. Neymar Zito is God tier. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our tier list for the winter wild cards. Um, I really like the fact that none of them have made it into the poopy butt. I'm pretty happy with where we've gone with this. Like I said, Messias is an objective card and he actually looks quite good with a five star. I'm actually going to bring him up one because I think because he's a free card and he's also got five star skill moves, that's where he belongs. I really am happy with this promo. I think it's really, really class and I love the idea of the wild card tokens as well. I think that's really cool. So let me know in the comment section, do you agree with this tier list? Do you not agree with this tier list? Like the video if you, if you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to do a prime icon on tier list tomorrow as well if that comes out tomorrow um, and then sunday we might have a video out if not sunday it'll be monday so stay tuned for that i'll see you in the next one boys have a wonderful day see you later bye bye